So guess what we got? New carpet! Yeah, we got new carpet. It's not really new. It's actually carpet that Margaret's mom and dad brought over that they had in a barn under a tarp. But the thing is, it doesn't actually smell. Yeah, the carpet doesn't actually smell. It smells good. It's weird. It wasn't steam cleaned or nothing. There's no mouse poop, no nothing. It smells like it just came directly from the store, which is crazy. But we didn't have a carpet down here for a long time, and I feel like all the blood's gonna explode out the top of my head, so let's get up higher. Yeah, we didn't have a carpet for a long time, because whenever we get a carpet, our kids destroy it. They spill things on it. Last carpet, I don't know if it made it into a vlog. No, it didn't, I wasn't vlogging yet. But the kid, the baby, I hear, <laughs> and I'm all like, what's that? So I put down the Xbox controller, come on upstairs, and what do I find? Right here in the middle of the floor on the old carpet, the boy has the Vaseline and he spread it everywhere. He's got Vaseline on his pants, he's got Vaseline on his shirt, he's got Vaseline on his face, on his, all the way up to his elbows, on his arms, it's in his hair. I had to give him a bath and I had to wash his hair like six times to get the Vaseline out. So the carpet had so much Vaseline on it, we were like, I don't think we're ever going to get this Vaseline under the carpet, so it went. The carpet before that, we had a dog named Rufus, a golden retriever. Lovely dog. It shed like crazy. And the thing is, aside from the smell it made from when it was farting and burping and dragging its butt across the floor, it made the carpet stink. And we steam cleaned it and steam cleaned it and there was nothing we could do and that carpet was pretty old and ratty too, so it went. So this is attempt number three at having a carpet in here. We don't have a dog anymore to wreck it, so that's hopefully not gonna happen unless we come home and there's a stranger with his dog in our house, in which case we'll have to offer them coffee then kick them out. And we shouldn't have the same problem with the Vaseline because the Vaseline is where the kid can't get it and we have a very, very strict no shoes on the carpet policy and no shoes on the hallway policy because Margaret just steam cleaned the carpet in the hallway twice and we don't want to have to do that again for a while. So the only thing, this carpet this carpet's kind of bumpy at this point from being rolled up for so long. But you know what? I'm sure that that is actually something that just over time and walking on it, it's gonna flatten out. And we'll hopefully get at least a decade out of this carpet. It's an Ikea carpet, so it's not like Uber carpet that you pay like hundreds of dollars for, but it's a carpet and it's soft under my feet. And that's all we care about. Anyway, did you guys catch Supergirl last night? We caught it, we liked it. What did you think? Tell us in the comments below if you watched Supergirl what you thought. We're actually really impressed with the show and what they're doing with the show. Also, big news for Margaret and I, Fallout 4 is now and we are huge Fallout fans and we can't, can't afford it right now. Yeah. <laughs> She's not exactly happy about it either. We're gonna have to wait a couple weeks and then we'll get it. And then Fallout 4 is gonna completely suck up our entertainment time for like the next foreseeable future. By the time I'm finished playing it, it'll be like two months and Margaret will be like a decade. <laughs> Fallout 3 took Margaret five years to beat and it took me three weeks. <laughs> but I played it like every single day for like hours a day. I had time off. I was going to college, all right? I had like, it was Christmas vacation and I had a month so I just played Fallout. But you didn't have to like cook or anything. <laughs> that's because that's what, that's what you do. You cook. And I clean the gutters, <laughs> right? Hey, listen, woman, I don't make you go up on the roof, do I? No, I don't want to clean the gutters. I don't make you mow the lawn, do I? Occasionally. When I'm sick, <laughs> shut up. When I'm sick, you mow the lawn. Yeah, when I'm sick, you get pizza. <laughs> What's wrong with that? That's a good trade-off. There's, there's no cooking involved. <laughs> there doesn't have cooking involved. Hey, when you're sick, you get pizza. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah, it's See? a win-win. <laughs> it's a win-win, so why are you complaining? Man, you just dumped all that sugar in there like a pro. Oh, thank you. You're a sugar dumping boss. Is that this butter? Is it hard? No, oh. you bum! Um, I may have squished the butter. That might be squishy. No, you have to that. weigh it instead of being able to just cut it and be like, that's a cup. Well, it's the same. It weighs the exact same no, amount in the package of squish. I just slice it down and that's a cup and that's a quarter cup and I have to measure it. Now I have to weigh it. Thank you, you Just go like, go like that. No, it's not accurate now. You should just stay out of the kitchen. <laughs> I'll leave. Hold my head in shame. 
So I'm just chilling down here at the computer. It's after dinner. Sorry there's not more footage of Margaret. Margaret was feeling kind of sick. It was a downhill slope from about 12 o'clock onward. She was going to record some of the stuff she was doing. She had some ideas to record some of what the kids, she was going to get the kids uh, to go through some of the toy flyers and she was going to get them to circle stuff and give her an idea of what they wanted for Christmas. And she thought that would make a good segment in the vlog. And it just didn't happen because she felt really yucky. So now she is upstairs on my Xbox One in the family room and she's playing Tomb Raider and I'm just going to leave her alone. I'm not going to bug her with the camera at this point because I just want to let her sink into the game because she's just starting the Tomb Raider game now and I'm sure she's going to have a lot of fun. So I'm not, I'm just, I'm not going to bug her. Something else I wanted to talk about was the fact that I had footage from yesterday that I forgot to use. I just didn't use it. I went to the dump and I, I edited the vlog and uh, I realized that I had this dump footage and I never, I never edited it in. The vlog came out at like almost eight minutes and I was like, you know what? I just feel like this vlog is complete. It doesn't need this footage. So I saved it for today. So it's gonna be kind of like a, a little window into our past, even though you get all my vlogs the day after I've lived them anyway. It'll be like a two day window in the past instead of one. So I'm gonna show you that. And then I have a quick topic I wanna to touch on that it's something that I'm kind of annoyed about. And, uh, and that's pretty much it, the vlog will be over. So first of all, let's get to yesterday's footage to the dump. Ready? Cell phone footage. Sorry, I forgot the camera at home and I'm going to the dump. So I gotta take some stuff in there because it's big and smelly and my garbage dump thing was all filled. So it was starting to ooze out and there was fruit flies and they were getting in the house and laying eggs in our chest like aliens. So I gotta take all this trash to the dump. It's another dump run. There's the dump. Well, you can't really see it. There's trees in the way. Hours of operation, Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.45 p.m. Come here, bring your trash, bring your unwanted dead bodies. We'll take care of all of it for you. Just don't tell us about the dead bodies, otherwise we'll have to report you to the police and then you'll go to jail for a real, real long time because you're bringing dead bodies to the dump and you should know better. Everyone knows you buried that crap in the backyard. Holy jumpins, there's a lot of people at the dump today. Everyone's got lots of trash to drop off. Lots of pickup trucks here. A lot of people, I guess, that are doing home renos and stuff are dropping off all their stuff. I've never seen this place as such a beehive of activity of things going on. Anyway, I'm waiting to get on the scales because they want to weigh your vehicle before you get on. And then they weigh it when you get off. Over there, there's some scales over there. They weigh it when you get off. That way they know exactly how much trash you put on. I'll pull up, they'll say, what do you have? And I'll say, four garbage bags and a dead body. And they'll be like, okay, go over, drop the garbage bags in the garbage bags bin and drop the dead body in the... I'm just kidding. No dead bodies here. Here we are at the dump. I'm gonna drop off all our unwanted refuse. Most of what I have is garbage, so I'll pull up here to the garbage section. Ugh, yuck. One of the bags exploded and I got garbage juice all over my hands. It's disgusting. My hands all sticky. I had to wipe it on my pants. So this is the back of the dump. This is where all the behind the scenes stuff happens. The garbage elves come along and clean up your garbage and move it around so that it can be turned into toys at Santa's workshop. Anyway, I am glad that this is done because I couldn't even close the lid. The neighbors were starting to look at me like I was one of those people that has so much garbage backing up on their porch and it's spilling out of their garbage bin and flies are all around it and they can smell it in the summer heat. Only it's not summer, it's fall. But everything else was pretty much true. It's it just got away, I forgot garbage one day, one, one Wednesday I forgot to do garbage, and it just piled up. Wow, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I didn't film actually grabbing stuff and throwing it in the trash and stuff like that because I had one hand and I only had my cell phone and I just didn't really feel like filming that part of it, so I just didn't. If I had someone there with me, I would have filmed them or I would have had them film me or whatever, but there was a lot of like, like the bags were stinky and some of them were sticky and my hands were yucky and I ended up wiping them on my pants. It was horrible. And there was a lot of people there and I don't get nervous really filming around people. I just kind of felt like, you know, at this point there was so many people around that and they're all working and stuff like that. I just felt like, I just don't really feel like filming the actual tossing of the stuff into the bins. So I, I didn't. What are you doing, you little sneaky pants? I was filming a segment, then you can't come here, come here. You come, you come here. You come here, you come here, come here. Come closer, come closer, come on, come on. Mm -hmm. What do you say to everyone at home? 
If you could say if you could say one thing to them, and only one thing ever, what would it be? What would watch you say to them? Watch Evan Tube. Watch Evan Tube. There you go. A shout out for Evan Tube. A gi thing. A gigantic YouTube channel. <laughs> watch Evan Tube. Is that it? That's it. Anyway, so this vlog is over. Thank you so much for watching us today. And we'll see you tomorrow. Remember to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe and like if you like what you saw. And yeah, we'll just, we'll see you tomorrow. So, bye!